Next week, we are going to the Sir Darya River in Kazakhstan looking for a sturgeon, the Sir Darya shovelnose sturgeon that has not been seen for over 50 years. A couple years ago, Global Wildlife Conservation came up with 25 lost species. Uh, they selected 25 presumably extinct species around the world that they wanted to make concerted efforts to try to rediscover. And one of those species they picked was the Sir Darya shovelnose sturgeon. It just so happens that I worked on preserved museum specimens of that species as part of my dissertation. So I am considered the expert on that species. So they contacted me, we got funding from Global Wildlife Conservation to pull this all together and um, get an expedition to try and look for this guy. Who knew that just visiting Moscow and St. Petersburg fish museums and taking measurements and making counts of scales on museum specimens almost 20 years ago would turn into this wonderful expedition, potentially rediscovering an extinct species that I never really thought I'd ever see a live specimen. Back when the Soviet Union was alive and well, they irrigated a lot of crops in the semi-arid regions in Central Asia, including Kazakhstan, and they pumped huge amounts of water out of the Sir Darya River for this irrigation. That caused the Aral Sea, which the Sir Darya flows into, to shrink incredibly, about one-fifth its former size, and it's the largest ecological disaster ever in the world. So that's one strike against the Sir Darya shovelnose sturgeon. There's also water pollution and dams have been constructed with huge reservoirs behind the dams. This species needs a flowing river to complete its life history. That may be the main problem with this species recruiting and developing more individuals is there's that crucial part of the life history that's interrupted with these reservoirs. I think they're just extremely rare. But I am really hopeful that we will find it. And if we do, it's going to be fantastic. We have reports from three different fishermen, one in 2016 and two in 2018, that they caught a Sir Darius shovelnose sturgeon. Unfortunately, we have no photographic evidence. But we are going to those exact places where they collected them. And uh, hopefully, we can find some. Having the right team together with the right equipment and going the right time of the year, I am very excited about the potential for really rediscovering the species and I think we're going to do it. We are very excited, regardless of our findings, to share all the details about our expedition to everyone around. And those details will come both from me and the Tennessee Aquarium, as well as Global Wildlife Conservation, the Fishery Center from Kazakhstan and other sources.